Hello, good morning. I just woke up. I'm in my pajamas and I'm eating almond butter and banana on toast. I was thinking and wanted to start filming and planning to film this, but I was like, I can't film now because I'm in my pajamas eating breakfast, but no, I totally can film right now. So that's what we're gonna do. When I receive like a video idea that I literally feels like comes from God and it's not just my idea, I just wanna film it right away. And I haven't had one of these in a while, but I was sitting at church yesterday and I pulled out my phone, which I usually try not to do when I'm at church, but this just came to my mind and I did not wanna forget it because I wanted to share it. And so I wrote and I typoed of God didn't exist. I if God didn't exist. Pressure on God. God existing, release all freedom. What I was really thinking about here was those who don't believe in God at all. Like not just non-believers of Christ, but just non-believers of a creator of the universe, right? A lot of them don't want him to exist. They don't want to hear it. It makes them angry because they want God to not be real. I've heard an argument for this myself and it was like, if God's real, then I have to give up my life and I'm not ready for that. So I don't want to hear it. I just think it's very interesting because I can totally see why people feel that way. If God is real, I need to give up my life, you know? Like, hey, I can't keep being selfish and greedy with my money. I can't keep cheating on my spouse. I can't keep stealing. I can't keep getting drunk all the time. I can't keep sitting around being lazy while I should be working. God does not call us to be lazy. You know, maybe they listen to really dark music and they love that music and they feel like if, I, if God's real, I have to give it up. Now that I'm thinking about it, there's two people that have told me that. I, understand that viewpoint, right? Like if God exists, oh my gosh, I need to clean up my act. And it's crazy because this world today is preaching that no matter what you're doing, you're accepted for the most part, right? Like maybe not stealing and certain things, but a lot of things it's just, okay, okay. Yeah, you're fine. That's good. Nothing is really by God's design anymore or doesn't need to be. People are doing what they want. A lot of people think that if God is real and he's really, you know, the creator of the universe, he's going to give me eternal life or not, etc., that they have to live in this box. Like, all right, now I need to say goodbye to my life and I'm gonna live like this. But the way I see it is if God wasn't real, I have the pressure of the world on my shoulders. Every decision that I make, every job that I take, every relationship that I'm in is like so important, right? And I'm my own God. I don't need help. I don't need a savior. I make my decisions and I live with the consequences or I don't, or I keep living in sin for the rest of my life. But I don't see it as sin because it's, you know, there is none. Yeah, that might sound freeing, but that's, that's twisted truth. It's not freeing. That's a lot of pressure and a lot of anxiety. And there is a lot of anxiety in the world right now because I was there before I was saved. And people are putting too much on their plates. We have too much access to information, just so much in our minds constantly every day. And we feel like this world is it. This is our life. And we're seeing a lot more selfishness. There's just a lot of self God complex, self absorption. It's like every decision we make is so critical. And we, we rant and we gossip and we make a big deal about everything. Now, if God exists, that pressure goes away a ton. Maybe not all of it, where we might experience situations where, you know, the pressure's on our shoulders. But for the most part, okay, I lost my job. You know, if I didn't believe in God, I might be so pissed and so mad and crying and freaking out and untrusting and da 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 da. Let's say that I have to pick up some part time gig. I might be embarrassed by that. I might be like, oh my gosh, what are people gonna think? Oh, that's so embarrassing. Oh my gosh, like my reputation. But if I'm walking with God throughout that whole process, I'm. In my head, I'm thinking, God, this is part of my plan. I'm gonna understand. This is gonna be a more difficult financial season for me, but I'm gonna rely on you more and I'm gonna grow more. So a lot of pressure gets taken off, but if God is real, then all of that pressure of our job and what, how people treat us and what everybody else is doing and letting that affect how we feel kind of gets lifted, right? We get to release it to God. I literally released my anxiety and said, I don't want it and I don't need it. And most of it is gone, like truly and honestly, I have a video on it, but I don't see my life with God as me living in a box. Yeah, maybe I did give up certain things I was doing. I naturally wanted to give up certain things I was doing once I started praying and reading the Bible, but I don't feel like I'm in a box. I feel like one, I'm not that important and it's very humbling. You know, the world is not all about me. Every decision I make is really like not the end all be all and that I have a God that, you know, wants to see me do well. And if I communicate with him, I will, not be led astray. And I have freedom in knowing that this life is temporary, that the things I have, the brands that I try to show people that I can buy, the things you post or do just to fit in, like none of that truly matters to God. You can eliminate jealousy because what are you jealous about? You stop caring about material things, that's freeing. You stop caring about how much makeup you have on your face or your hair or whatever, 
that is freeing. I stopped caring about social media, knowing that my job doesn't define me, knowing that the poor literally have the kingdom of God, knowing that when others are stealing and I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do that, that God sees that, that's freeing. Like sometimes we do good and we're like, but why am I even doing good? Like nobody even sees it. But then I'm like, but God sees it. So I don't see there being a God as living in a box. I see it as I can submit all of my pressure, my frustrations, my anxiety, my vanity issues, my jealousy issues, all of that, I can just say, I don't need that. And that's kind of it. <laughs> that's really kind of it. I just, I don't want people to see God as like somebody that wants your life to suck and be boring and restricted and you, know, you can't do anything fun. Like that's not true. God wants to help you. He wants you to rely on him, lean on him. And I know it looks restrictive to dress a certain way or to, you know, do things like, in the narrow path to follow God, right? And that path people can see as a box, but it's a path, it's not a box because we can always get closer and closer and closer to God till the end of time, till, you know, the day of judgment, as we say. So it's not a box, you're not stuck. You're never stuck with God. That's where I'm gonna leave that. All right, guys, I need to call my friend and then get to work. I will talk to you later, bye.